<laughs> hey, it's been a while. Welcome to the Artistic Biker. It has been a while, I, I understand. We've had some changes. We've had a lot of changes. Uh, in, the, in the past few years, we've had a lot of changes. I moved down here from Oklahoma in 2015. I'm in Houston now. And I moved down here in, from Oklahoma in 2015. In 2015, from 2002 to 2000, 2001 to 2021, I was in the oil and gas industry. And in 2015, I moved from Oklahoma to Houston. And in Oklahoma, I had an art gallery. I had a building at a 3,000 square foot building, two story. It was on an acre lot. We had lots of plans for it. We had beautiful idea of what we wanted to do with our gallery. Uh, first Saturday of the month, we were offering free art lessons to the neighborhood kids with, uh, in partnership with the Grady County, Chickasha Grady County Area Arts Council. Uh, we were having a lot of fun. We were having a good time. We moved down here to, to Houston, and I thought we would probably, I sold the building. I figured we'd probably do the same thing down here and get going with it, and that was, that's been six years ago. Uh, when we bought that building in Oklahoma, I paid twelve grand for the building and for the upgrades to the building, and uh, we were up and running. Twelve grand paid for the building, three thousand square foot, one acre lot, up and running. And I thought when I got down here to Houston, I figured, you know, it's a big area. There's a lot of old buildings around. Surely I can find something comparable. No, no. The closest I found has been uh, seven hundred thousand dollars, and there's just no ROI there. Could not drop seven hundred thousand dollars on a on a building, and the building that I really wanted, they I called them up and I said, "Hey, how much do you want for this?" And she said, "Well, we, we can let that one go for three million. Three million dollars? No. So we're not there yet. But I've decided that that is my goal. That is the that is the end game here. And so for the next uh, foreseeable future, that's what this channel is going to be, is going to be documenting not only the artwork that I'm doing, but the progress of getting back to that place where I have, not, not no Oklahoma, but where I have a building, where I have a studio and a gallery that my wife and I can teach at, that the kids can come and we can, we can uh, share information with them free, and other teachers can come and rent space and teach, and we can have a gallery, and we can have a really nice space here in Northwest Houston. So that's that's the goal. And so for the next foreseeable future, that's what we're going to do with this channel is document that process. And part of that process is getting my name out there and getting, in, getting involved in the community and doing other stuff. So the old job was oil and gas. Uh, in 2020, in COVID, you may not be aware, in, uh, in 2020 when COVID hit, the company that I was working for decided to eliminate their uh, executive sales team and specifically their technical sales team. That was me. There were about 75 of us that were laid off during COVID, but because I'd been there for 20 plus years, they offered me a two year package, almost two years is 20 months, offered me a 20 month package. And I took that as a blessing to get out of the oil and gas industry. And I've kind of bounced around. I've tried to get a master's degree. I've worked a couple of other jobs in between. So I got a job with a local automotive company where I'm the shuttle driver. And I get to visit with all of the customers as I carry them home and bring them back. I get them one-on-one -on -one for about 15 minutes. I get to learn about their lives. And I get to learn about culture. And I get to learn about a bunch of different stuff. And one of the things that I did was I met up with a nice lady, Dawn. She works with the Houston area Doberman Rescue, Hater. It's a horrible name, Hater. <laughs> but it's the Houston area Doberman Rescue. And the, and she was trying to get me to present my work at a show in Pearland. And that, that didn't work out. Pearland is way south of here, and it didn't work out. It was too close to time. But they have another show coming up in Tomball in December, and I'm going to be a part of it. It's not a show. It's a fundraiser. I'm going to be a part of that fundraiser. And they've asked me to paint a Doberman. And they're going to auction the Doberman painting off. And so I painted the Doberman. And they're going to auction the Doberman painting off. But they're going to allow me to set up uh, a booth at the event as a vendor, free of charge. And so that sent me spiraling. A booth. Oh, my God. A booth. Well, I, don't, I don't have stuff for a booth. I haven't done a booth since the Grady County Fair in Chickasha, Oklahoma, and the, at the Grady County Fair, I had coffee mugs, and I had t-shirts, and I had, but I had a reason to, because I had a studio, I had a local studio where I could invite people. You are 
quite the pushy dog. Yes, you are. This dog needs love. Anyway, um, so I had a reason to have a booth at a fair, and I had, like I said, I had coffee mugs and I had T-shirts because my mom printed T-shirts. My mom print, printed coffee mugs, but I don't have any of that stuff. So here I am, and I'm and I'm real. I've got to I've got to do something. So I start thinking about how I can get some stuff going. And so one of the things that I started doing was I started taking my artwork and putting it on these journals. So I have these these journals. Here's one with a candle on it, and here's one with the dog on it. These are just blank journals, and I've got these. I, I, I bought a bunch of them. Ten, I bought ten each, but you can get them on Amazon. I have a link below. They're just they're just blank journals, where you can see there there's nothing in them. They're just they're just blank journals with my artwork on the cover of them. So I had those for sale, and on the back of each one of them, there's this little there's this little thing that says the original artwork, whatever the name of the artwork is. This one's the rooster, was painted by Jonathan Manning of Oasis Studios and Gallery, originally from Chickasha, Oklahoma. Jonathan currently resides in Houston with his beautiful young bride, girl two, his beautiful young bride. It's two youngest children, girl two, boy two, three dogs, and a pet crawfish named Pop. So that's what you get when you when you buy those. And so I bought a bunch of those to put on display there. And then I bought I bought a bunch of prints, uh, five by seven prints. I bought some two by three prints, just you know, just to have something to sell. Well, those things sell like hotcakes. And then I had these little minis to sell, and I put them in these little magnetic cases. See if I can get that open without flipping that across the room. I have these little acrylic cases that are that are magnetically sealed, so that I could protect them when I sell them. And so I had those for sale. And then I needed a way to display the artwork, so I bought this uh, hog paneling. Do you know the art display grids are like 300 bucks to start with? And they're only like two foot wide, six foot tall, and they're like three hundred bucks for two panels. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I can't I can't swing that. I just I just don't have that laying around to do. But these things are seventeen dollars a piece. So I bought four of them and I zip tied them together and they work perfectly. And I, I here's the pictures. They work perfectly. Uh, I bought these clips. Let's see if I can get you. I bought these clips and these hmm. see these clips. I bought these clips and these hooks like this to display them so that I can hang the clips from the hooks on the grid and I can display them while I'm trying to sell them. But it also works when I store it. It also works as a pallet so I can hang stuff up and I can have three things go at one time. So that works up. That works up pretty well. Then I bought a canopy. I loved this canopy, and I set it up, and I set the tables up inside, and I set the, are you, are you serious, dog? And I set the grid up to hang the artwork, and I bought these nice lights to hang up in there and everything, and here's a shot of it with, uh, with it all set up in the daylight. Here's a shot of it at night with me and the wife while, so I could see how the lights worked out, and it was all beautiful. And I don't have any pictures of this event in Baytown, but I, I ended up at the Baytown Arts and East Festival, which is a chalk festival in Baytown, Texas. And I ended up down there as my first outdoor event. And I go to set it up, and the very first thing that happens is the canopy. I've got the weights on the legs. I'm, I'm trying to put the sidewalls up on the canopy, but the wind catches the canopy. The weights just slide right off. The canopy tips over, and a leg breaks. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got a broken leg on my canopy. My canopy won't stand up anymore. And forgive me if this goes all over. I'm excited. The, but the leg on my canopy is broken. I can't stand my canopy up. We're done. We're in Baytown. It's an hour and a half from home. Uh, there's nothing else for us to do except pack up and go home. And we start packing up. And the the, uh, the lady from the art league comes around. And she says, no, no, no. You can't leave. You're our only fine arts display. Everything else is either craft or it's just prints, or it's face painting. Everything else is not fine art. You're the only fine art display we have. So instead of letting us leave, they offered to let us move inside. So we set up inside, and we did okay. We sold enough money, we sold enough stuff 
to cover our event costs, our food what, that we ate while we were there, the gas to get down there, the fees for entering the, the event. I joined the Baytown Art League. That Those fees were covered. And we made a little bit of money on top of that. We did not did not cover our overhead. I did not cover the cost of printing all these books and the cost of printing all of the, the prints. And I did not cover the cost of the, the canopy. And I certainly didn't cover the cost of repairing the canopy or the cow panels or hog panels. But we covered our event costs. So we still have our setup fees tied up in this. And we still have, uh, we still have our inventory but we did pretty well. We we we, gar we gained some attention. We we got spread around there. We got invited back to another event at Christmas that I don't think we're going to be able to make the Christmas event. But we also got invited to their spring event, uh, which works out well. They have a spring event which is upscaling, where you take materials and you upscale it into art. Well, it works out well for me because I'm painting on expired wall calendars, so that works out perfectly for me anyway. So we'll be back in the spring to set up for that. I don't know if that's an outside event or an inside event but we'll have another canopy for that uh, as far as the books go i showed you the blank blank books i also put together this 52 minis book the first deck if you're not aware i paint on playing cards the, that was this i probably should have mentioned that at the time when i showed you what is this is this is the right way when i showed you this one well, when I finished the first deck, which took forever, I made a book out of them, and I put that on Amazon. And I'll, like I said, I'll have a link to the books below. These things all make great gifts. I think you should order all these things and buy these things off the Amazon site. You'll have you'll have plenty of stuff to play with. So, all of that came from my new job because my new job allows me to meet people. Uh, like Don, once I met Don, I met a couple of other people, and I told them that I was going to be at an event. And that's when they said, well, you should look into our event, and you should look into our event, and you should look into our event. And that's how I found out about the Baytown Arts Festival, and that's how I got invited to the Baytown Arts Festival. And so that, that worked out well. I get a lot of free time at the job. So during the job, uh, when I'm not shuttling people, I get, a, I get an opportunity to do crazy things like practice drawing hands uh, I'm working on starting some watercolors so I bought this little little bitty watercolor sketchbook as long as I don't make a mess and as long as I don't spread out stink like oil or anything like that I can do pretty much whatever I need to do and so here I've got these this uh, this little bitty water sketchbook that I just got so I can get stuff done at work so that I can have something to share. Oh, that means it's time to go to my mom's. I don't know if you can hear the alarm or not, but it's about time for me to wrap this up. So anyway, I had this sketchbook is what I was doing before, and I was practicing with some snails and some frogs and some fishnets. <laughs> uh, all of that's going to continue. I'll continue to practice on those things. I got new cards to paint on that have my new information on them. I just launched a new website, osgtexas.com. Uh, the website hasn't launched yet, but I registered the domain and I've started using that email address for all the fine art stuff. Uh, anyway, I think that pretty much wraps up. The, the updates for what has been going on since the last time I made a video. And so if you follow with me all this way, I know it was scattered. I really appreciate you sticking through. Click the links below. You can go find the, the uh, books. You can buy the books. Uh, maybe, I'll give, maybe I'll have a giveaway and start giving away some of the prints. I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, I don't intend to, I'm going to do like Disney. I don't intend to continue to print the same things over and over because I've got a lot of little stuff that I can print. So what I figure I'll do is I'll have this print, this print set. And then when this print set runs out, I won't do it again for two or three years. So it'll, it'll go into the vault like Disney does. Um, the canopy people, my broken canopy, the canopy people said they will either ship me a replacement leg 
or they'll replace the canopy. So we just have to figure out where we're going to go with that. I had to send them some pictures. We haven't, they haven't uh, set a disposition for that. But the next step is the goal for 2023 is to try to have an event every month while we learn how to write grants. The wife and I are going to learn how to write grants to see what we can do to, to find a location. Uh, we're going to start researching. Uh, we're going to start researching uh, vacant buildings and see if we can find a vacant building in a, in a populated area. Uh, we're going to start looking for ways to do this because I am getting to the point where I need to start thinking about retirement. This is what I want to retire to. So that said, I thank you for sticking with me this far. Uh, you'll see more of me. I'll try to give you an update like this every week, and we'll keep you going, keep you posted of what we're doing. So anyway, thank you so much. Peace out.